Hello, my name is Jared Schmall, and I'm a sales application engineer here at Microflown Technologies. If you're looking for a quick and easy solution to visualize sound to solve your acoustic problems, then you're in the right place. In the next couple of minutes, I'll be showcasing our top selling measurement solution, Scan and Paint 2D, and demonstrating just how effectively it can be used in the field. So let's jump right in and start a measurement. Setup is simple and can be done in a couple of steps. Inside the case, you'll find everything you need to get started. The Voyager portable measurement system used for data acquisition, the Intel RealSense depth camera, a field calibrator, the new second generation PU probe, all the accessories needed. Simply connect the supplied cables to the devices and you are good to go. Let's dive into the software to complete the setup. Once everything is set up, we can launch Velo. This intuitive software is designed in a top-down tabular layout. We begin with the Setup tab. The Voyager is automatically recognized as the analog input. We select our desired sample rate and set the channel to 1, 2, since we are using a two-channel PU probe with sound pressure and particle velocity inputs. Next, we go to Image Input and select the RealSense D415 camera. Lastly, we will need to add the PU probe to the probe database. This only needs to be done the first time the software is used. Click on Add, Load from XML, and select the probe calibration file located on the USB drive within the kit. Once everything is set, we can move to the next tab. The Capture tab is where measurements are completed. But first, we need to calibrate the camera for real-time tracking. Click the Auto Calibrate Camera button, first with the probe out of the camera's view, and then return the probe to the camera. It is that simple, and now we are ready for our first capture. When the Start Capture button is pressed, a depth image is first captured. This automatically provides accurate dimensions for sound power calculations. Once the image is complete, we can start scanning. Move the PU probe along the device under test using steady motions while ensuring to keep the IR LEDs facing the camera. It is important not to move the camera or the device until the capture is complete. Multiple captures can be performed in the same project file. Once all measurements have been completed, results are just a few clicks away. With the latest upgrade, the tracking tab is no longer a required step, but can still be used for reviewing captured data, advanced post-processing, and exporting raw WAV files. In the results tab, we add a new process for analysis. Here we adjust the area of analysis and define the spatial and frequency resolution. Click the Start Processing button to calculate the results within seconds. We can quickly perform a frequency analysis on the results by sliding the frequency selector along a range or by clicking a single frequency of interest. Images or frequency data can then be exported with ease. The software has multiple tools for troubleshooting and source ranking. From our frequency analysis, we noted three potential sources of interest. Let's isolate these sources within the select tool. We can then plot, customize, and export a power spectrum across a broadband frequency range. Now you know how easy it is to perform accurate acoustic measurements with Scan and Paint 2D. Our latest update, featuring live probe tracking, makes the process quicker and more efficient than ever before. Thank you for joining me here today, and I hope we here at Microflown can help you solve your acoustic problems of the future.